My name is Ksenia, I'm 25 years old and I'm living in Tel Aviv. I'm working with immigrants from former USSR and I'm here to share my personal story but also to give you a big perspective on immigration in Israel. I came to Israel when I was 15 as a participant of a program named Nale. I came alone without my parents. But the idea of program is to bring teenagers at a really young age for the better chance to integrate. But the second idea of this is to encourage their parents to come after their children. I remember myself being eight years old. My mother told me that I'm Jewish. I was really proud of it. I remember we went to synagogue with my mom, lighted a Shabbat candle, celebrated Pesach and Purim. But strange thing happened to me when I came to Israel. People started to call me Russian. And maybe because I spoke Russian, or maybe because I have an accent when I speak in Hebrew, or maybe because I don't smile a lot, and other things that related to Russians. And I couldn't understand why, why did it happen. I spent three beautiful years in a boarding school, but somehow it felt like the society is really different from the boarding school. So I decided to make a volunteer year and I choose to work with immigrants, people like me. Since then, for the last six years, I'm working with immigrants. I think that the main reason that I'm choosing this job is that because I have identity questions. Sometimes people ask me really simple questions like, where are you from? And I get confused. I don't really know how to answer for that. My closest friends are Russians. I'm still listen, listening to Russian music. I like food that I used to eat when I was a child. But I also like Israeli food. And I and read a lot of news about politics here, economics, and so I studied sociology and anthropology because I really wanted to know this place. I can't be all Russian or Israeli. I'm both, and I'm learning to love it. My parents came five years after me, and I'm asking myself, do they feel the same way as me? Do they also feel being Russian and Israeli together? And it seems like it's not. I'm telling them about politics here, I'm telling them about the news, what's going on here in the country, and sometimes it seems like they don't have a clue. And it's really hard for me, because those are my parents. And it's leading me to the bigger perspective. Almost a million and a half people from former USSR came to Israel. They decided to leave everything they knew and come to the Holy Land. And it had a huge impact on the Israeli society. On the cultural aspects, also in an economical aspects. It was really big change for the Israeli society. But did they all integrate it on the same level? No, not exactly. Some people choose not, choose not to learn Hebrew. Some people choose to keep going to Russian grocery stores. And some people choose not to speak Russian because they want to be in Israel. And it's really, really different for everyone. And if you will talk to other people and you will ask about their story, they will tell you the different thing. Sometimes I'm wondering if government does enough for immigrants. Because I know when you're talking about amount, we sometimes forgetting about the quality. Is it enough for a person who decided to leave everything he knows and came to a new country? And I think that this is why I'm choosing to work with immigrants. I remember what is it to be, to be an immigrant. I know how hard it is. And I take it personally.